My name is Marina Chaparro. I'm a pediatric registered dietitian. I am an author. I am a certified diabetes care and education specialist. I am a mom of two girls. I am a media spokesperson. I'm a nutrition consultant. I'm an entrepreneur. I am a proud Latina. And I am the face and founder of Nutrichicos. Nutrichicos is a bilingual space that helps moms and parents transform their kids' nutrition into positive and balanced meals above all. My motto is aim for balance, not perfection. And really the goal is to help parents just raise healthy eaters that have a positive relationship with food. For me, the how we feed kids is just as, an, or maybe more important than the what. It is a no judgment zone. It is only good vibes. It is real, practical, everyday advice just to help parents out there feel good about what they're doing and at the end, letting them know they're doing a good job as parents. My calling in this profession, really it started when I was 16 years of age, lying in a hospital bed with a blood sugar of 420. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 16 years of age in my hometown of El Paso, Texas. And I think at that moment is when really my passion and my life was decided. At that moment, I was told what to eat, when to eat, how to inject, what type of diabetes I had, was it the good one or the bad one? And I think the relationship with food started to maybe break at that point. That is why I really, really focus on my goal as a pediatric registered dietitian that sees all types of families is to help families raise kids with a positive attitude with food. It's not just the what they feed, but it's the how we feed. Is it positive? Are you punishing? Are you forcing? Mentors are so important in a profession, and I've had the privilege of having a few along my career. Ever since I started in a clinical practice in a pediatric hospital, there was one mentor that really I learned so, so much. And as I continued, through my journey as a pediatric registered dietitian and then spokesperson and diabetes care education specialist, I've had really two great mentors that now I consider friends, Lorena Drago and Hope Borshaw. Shout out to both of you because with them, I learned the potential of knowledge and skill and really being passionate in what you do. I saw Lorena Drago write books, speak in conferences, really have this wonderful niche and really be an expert in what she does. And then I also saw Hope Warshaw, who really was the gateway for me having and publishing my own book, my own diabetes book with the American Diabetes Association, and it was all thanks to her. I learned that dietitians and diabetes care education specialists could write, could write columns, could consult, could do brand work, could work in a hospital. So the most important thing that I learned was that being a registered dietitian didn't just mean working at a hospital. It could mean many things and it really was up to your skills, up to your passion, up to your creativity and, and really your grit. How much were you willing to work with what you love to do? And if you were to ask me, you know, is there a magic pill to all of these struggles? My answer is no. My answer is that these struggles are necessary and they are what keep me growing. So for me, I don't think there's a magic solution. I think the way I see my profession and my product practice and really my life is I need those struggles in order to grow. And I put myself on purpose in uncomfortable positions, hoping that one day I will eventually feel comfortable. So really, there's a phrase that I really like that says, being comfortable with the uncertainty of things, that's really where confidence lies. So I challenge myself every year, every month, every week to do things that are scary to me, to probably maybe fail a couple of times, learn as I go, but knowing and resting sure that I'm, I'm doing things and I'm growing and I'm evolving. And that for me is really what keeps me going, what keeps me 
going and learning that I'm, I'm not the same person I was last year and hopefully I'm better, I'm different and I've learned and I have some lessons learned.